Here are eight things you should be doing in Madden 24. Number one, claiming your free 94 overall Kyle Pitts. EA Sports is going live over on Twitch this Friday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And if you head on over to Twitch, search for EA Sports Mutt and pop into that live stream at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. You're getting this 94 for free. Now, the way you get the card is incredibly simple. You have to have your EA Sports account linked with Twitch. I will leave a video linked in the description that I made earlier this year, which showcases exactly how to do that. Not going to cover it in this video because we've talked about it before. Then for watching EA Sports on Twitch and doing so for literally just 45 minutes, not that long, you can click claim reward and you're going to get this 94 pits in game. Honestly, this is one of the best pass catchers in Madden, easily the best tight end in this game. It's either him or 1 million coin Travis Kelsey, but I would recommend the Kyle Pitts because he's free. So that's absolutely one thing you don't want to miss out on. Again, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time on Friday on EA Sports' Twitch. Don't miss it. Tip number two, if you're planning and participating on the first tip, I would also suggest you sell off your starting tight end. So for us personally, I got 93 Vernon Davis. This is a good card, don't get me wrong, but I would much rather sell off Vernon Davis either today, tomorrow, or before Friday because I don't want to wait until Friday when everyone gets their Kyle Pitts and it's like, okay, I'm going to sell off my Vernon Davis or okay, I'm going to sell off whoever my starting tight end is. When that happens, these cards will go down in price. So if you want to get ahead of the eight ball and you know you're getting that Kyle Pitts coming soon, I would sell off your starting tight end at least 24 hours before Friday. So at least Thursday, I'm probably going to do it tomorrow realistically just because you know what? There's no reason having this card on my team other than playing on online, but I can soak the one or two days of using this Donald Penn or just not playing a ton online. Tip number three, I want to give a big shout out to Underdog Fantasy, who is the sponsor of today's video. As you're watching this, your boy is flying out to Vegas, not to go to the game, but we are doing some pre-Super Bowl festivities courtesy of Underdog. Now, if you don't know what Underdog Fantasy is, they're a place where you can make higher or lower NFL picks. You're basically picking how well you think players are going to do. So instead of saying, okay, I think the Chiefs are going to win, I'm going to say, okay, is George Kittle getting higher or lower than 47 receiving yards in the game? And depending on how many picks you get, correct, you win cash. If you get four picks correct, you 10x your money. If you get five picks correct, you 20x your money. That's $10 to 100 or $10 to 200. Now, I'm going to leave Underdog Fantasy linked down below in the description if you want to check it out before the big game, which is just a couple of days away at this point, just a handful of days away. I will leave it linked in the description. Click that link to download the app. And once you've done so, put in my promo code, which is code SWIFT to support me, as well as get your first deposit matched up to 100 bucks and get a Patrick Mahomes special for the game. Don't miss out. It's all linked in the description. Tip number three, if you've got 90 two overall cards in your binder and they're auctionable and tradable. I don't care if they're on your team. I don't care if they're not on your team. I would sell them off. So for me personally, I'm going to take my own advice. I've got 92 overall Javon Curse right here. I'm going to sell this card off. This man is going for about 150,000 coins. If we take a look at the market right now, 92s and 93s are basically selling for the same price. So realistically, what I could do is I could sell this card for 150 and buy a 93 at the exact same price point. 92 overalls right now, if you guys didn't know, are pretty inflated because of the Super Bowl sets and because of the 95 overall players sets. So if you got them and you're not using them, absolutely sell them off. And even if you're using them like this 92 Javon Curse, I'm probably going to sell this card off too, because realistically that price is inflated. Tip number four, if you have these MCS tokens, which I know a lot of people do. If you've been watching my videos, you know what these MCS sets are. If you have MCS tokens, boys, do not use them in this set right here. As you guys can see, there's a MCS Madden Super Bowl pack set right here. If you put your tokens in this, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, the reason why I say that is because if you hold on to these tokens, you can use three of them and get a free Jonathan Taylor who can help you with the master MCS player, or you can even use that Jonathan Taylor card on your lineup. So if you guys have these MCS tokens, which I personally do just chilling in my unopened packs, do not put them in this set. There's another set coming on February the 9th or February the 10th, one of those two days, and that's going to be a much better one to use them on. So just don't make that mistake. Not going to go super in depth there. Tip number five, in terms of leveling up, and especially in this new season, I feel like one of my favorite ways to level up that a lot of people know about, but maybe don't grind for, and I actually would suggest you grind for, are these week to week missions. Every single week, you can get about 50k XP for free. And to be honest with you, these missions, I think, are worth grinding for. I actually went into a game and got my kick return and punt return yards done. That mission is located right here in week number two, and it's located right here in week number four. I went into a solo battle game, knocked that out. Honestly, I would say if you haven't done most of these missions, grind for them. As you guys can see, haven't played enough head-to-head -head games in the last couple of days to get progress on this one, but otherwise, everything is done. And I think for most people watching this video, you can probably get basically everything done in here if you grind for it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Tip number six, and this one's kind of an interesting one. Obviously, this isn't happening today, but when the Super Bowl happens on Sunday, if you guys didn't already know, whoever wins the MVP gets a 99 overall player. So what I'm kind of going to be doing is whatever position wins the MVP, I might be looking to buy cards at that position. Now, reason being is say, for example, Patrick Mahomes wins the MVP, and we all know he's going to be getting a 99 overall player. Well, what's going to happen? People might sell off their starting quarterback in anticipation of getting that Pat Mahomes. So what I'm planning on doing is potentially scooping up some of those 
cards. I think realistically, if you're looking to upgrade any position on your team, whoever wins MVP, you can probably buy the best player at that position and get them for a relative discount on Sunday. So if CMC wins it, you can go through and get Icky Woods for a decent price. If maybe Patrick Mahomes wins it, you can go through and pick up whoever you believe is the best quarterback in this game. There are multiple opinions out there, so I'm not going to say the hard and fast number one. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. Tip number seven, a brief word on solo challenges. Which ones should you be playing? Which ones should you be grinding for? I would say realistically, the ones you're going to want to grind for right now are probably going to be the Super Bowl pass solos. I think these ones are worth playing as well as Legends. I know I hate to say it. We've talked about this before, but Legends, they're still worth it. Now, otherwise, is it worth playing other solos in this game? Yes, absolutely. But in terms of the two that I would say you're going to want to focus on now, it's Super Bowl pass and it's Legends. Realistically, if you can get all the Legends done, you'd get about 600k if you played through all the Legends solos from selling off the two masters. So that is worth it. And again, the longer you wait on those Legend solos, the more these cards are going to come down in price. So if you can get them done ASAP, you get more coin value. The longer you wait, the less they're going to sell for. That's just how the market really works. Now, tip number eight, I'm probably going to make a full length video on this tomorrow. So stay on the lookout for that. But I do want to try out one pack in the store. It is going to be the Pro Max Fantasy Pack. If you watched my video a couple days ago, we pulled a 92 out of this very easily. It's 75,000 coins. And I'm interested to see if this makes coins or not. Again, probably going to do a full length video on this tomorrow. So stay on the lookout for that. But let's just open up one right here. I will say stick around until I post that video tomorrow because I am going to go a little bit more in depth. But just like initial reviews, it seems decent. It seems like you got a decent shot at pulling some higher overall cards. Now, again, the market's gone down a lot. So you got to get a decent pull to make your coins back. And that's hopefully going to happen in round number two right here. So far, not so good. 86 Troy Palomalu. The final card is going to be showing us an unstoppable. Hopefully it's a master unstoppable card. It's an 87 Tyler Boyd. So this one is absolutely losing us a ton of coins. I'm probably going to make a video talking about these because I feel like these are the best coin pack in the store right now. Now, I will say they're the best coin pack in the store, but they're the best of many bad packs. There's not really any pack in the store where I can say, oh, open that one up. That's going to make you coins. This is kind of like the best out of the garbage. So does that make it good? Well, stick around for the video tomorrow. We got a big boy legend right here, hopefully higher than like an 88. It's an 88 Bruce Smith on the dot. We get an 83 DJ Humphreys, 83 Jordan Mylata. Let's just open up this one and then we're probably going to call it a day. 85 John Runyon. Round number two should be decent. We're going to get a redux. This could be good. 91 Kenneth Murray. All right, that's a very solid pull. And we're going to be going through and getting an 87 Ramondre Stevenson. We'll take Kenneth Murray. That should make us some coins. I believe just a quick check, but it should. 91s, I believe, are about 100K, maybe like 90K. Oh, wow, they're 75. My mistake. And yeah, after looking at prices, we're basically breaking even on this pack. That's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. It is the best way to support me as a creator. If you want to check out Underdog, that is linked in the description as well. And those were eight tips I would recommend you guys do in Madden 24. Most of them are pretty simple, pretty quick. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Love y'all, boys. Peace.